10 minutes. The guy in front of me, apparently, all he got were two, like, frappuccino smoothie things. I don't know, some kind of girly drink. Extra caramel. I mean, people are just in, in no hurry around here today. I'm trying to go flying, so we're going to go for a little sunset flight. Um, hopefully catch a little of your town before sunset. It's like 6.40 now, so we're really close to the beach. And we got to be back down by 8.07, so... I think we can probably get maybe 45 minutes of flying in. I think my goal for this flight is to try to mess with the trimmers. So I haven't touched the trimmers on the wing yet. Uh, I've kind of been terrified to be honest because it looks like once you push those little those little buttons in on the trimmers, the whole wing is going to go sliding through the, the clip and you're just going to plummet to the ground or something. I know that's not going to happen, but still I've been a little nervous to try it. So we're going to give it a shot and see what it's like. And what's pretty awesome is uh, it's, it's about low tide right now too, so we're gonna have tons of beach. Yep. Let's go ahead and call up the uh, Wilmington Automated Surface Observation. Temperature 2, 8 Celsius, 2.18 2. Celsius, altimeter 3005. Remarks. Got my pre flight Big Mac here. That was Wilmington's Automated Surface Observation Station, I think, ASOS. That's what that stands for. It's an automated weather report at the Wilmington Airport. So it's going to be a little windier at the beach typically. But what it's saying is we have um, you know, clear skies, which I can see from here. Uh, about 10 mile visibility. So. And uh, yeah, and the wind's about 7 miles an hour is what it's saying. So I expect it's going to be a little bit breezier than that at the beach, especially since it's onshore. But you know, maybe 9 is the max. So we're going to give it a shot. It should be a reverse launch day. Shout out to McDonald's for this Big Mac. And good sandwich. All right, we are recording. So Dana is up there flying. This will be cool. I got to the beach, made the trick down here, and see Dana's wing off in the distance coming from Figure Eight. So this will be sweet. It'll be my first time flying with another person. A little breezy today crazy. I just mixed up a fresh batch of gas. into the wind and see what our ground speed is we're doing seven knots that's not terrible seven and a half it's slow not the worst look at Theo little Theo is eating some bacon Pretty decent sunset tonight, actually. It's kind of smoggy looking. There's a mist blowing in from offshore, but there's no low clouds. So maybe, just maybe, we'll have a good, a decent sunset. My ears just pop. All right, so let's try to mess with these, uh, these trimmers now. So I'm gonna stow my brakes. Basically, see what we get. I should have done a speed check. Seems like maybe it takes a little more brake pressure. It's hard to say. Yeah, it seems like we're definitely moving a little bit quicker. 
and anything feels like I need my arms to hit anything feels like something in these wind conditions with the exception of maybe my very first flight I don't know this is probably the windiest yeah, it's probably as, as windy as my first flight was it's amazing there's even like the slightest little white cap down there which is pretty pretty nuts let's check our altitude so we're over yeah, we're kind of over the water, but we're also kind of over the town of Redsville Beach, so let's see. Uh, we have to be at least 500 feet up, so let's just verify that. I'm sure we are. Ah, that's not right. My altitude's all screwed up on this app. I don't know what's going on. We're way more than 200 feet above the ground here. Great view of the beach. Keeping a scan out for other air traffic. You kind of want to check behind us. I feel like this is a, it's a prime pattern for other airplanes to be flying. Right down the beach, you know, about 1,000 feet up, 1,500 feet up. So we're good. This area right here, they call the lollipop. Because it kind of looks like a lollipop, I guess, from the air. Kind of messed up lollipop, but I guess a lollipop nonetheless. We are going to scream back north when the time comes to turn around. Good old Johnny Mercer's Pier. Maybe we can see some sharks down there from the, from the air. That pier's got all kinds of life crawling around it. Let's descend a tiny bit. Do another scan for air traffic. Looks good. Yeah, that pier's got all kinds of stuff crawling around that thing, so it might be kind of cool to see if we can spot something. I see... See some darker patches, little round spots. They, they, it's possible they're raised. No, those are just shadows from the wave above it, actually. Um, got some people in the water. See the uh, the shadows from the waves down there. They look kind of like those stingrays we saw last week. There's a kayaker. The yacker. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's like a bait ball down there. I see fish hitting. That kayak's going straight for him. There's like a uh, a school of fish, and you can see them popping on the water every now and then. You'll see a little frenzy of uh, white water at the top. But I can tell. I mean, I know it's not a shadow because or like some kind of cloud because it's it's moving along the water. Those are definitely fish. I can every now and then when you get close to the surface, you can see them kind of slithering around. That kayaker is heading straight for the fish. Kind of need to get a closer look. What do you think? Should we do it? We can give it a shot. I'm going to add in a little bit of trim here. Oh, I can feel it. It's cool when you pull the trim back in. You can, you can feel the lift it gives you. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see that dark patch just in front. Man, we really rip on the way down wind. Just in front of that guy on the kayak. There's a really dark patch of water. They're right over him. That's a great view. Can you see that fish? They're all running. I want to see a big shark chase after him. Might be a good idea to do a quick fuel check here. For a little beer. Kind of creep into the right. Somewhere. Tons of fuel. I think I'm going to let the trims back out again. Weird. It's like more brake pressure when I do that. I feel the wind kind of surge over my head a little more. Alright, let's see a shark. We're on the shark hunt here. I want to see a shark. Good old Banks Channel. I spent many a good summer sailing in there, boating. It's a fact, we're really close to the sailing club. Do another quick uh, traffic scan. There's a group of boats. I'm going to shoot off shore real quick. Straight ahead. You can see right off the tip of my foot there, there are three boats around in one spot. We're fishing a shipwreck called the Liberty Ship. And that's a ship that was sunk uh, 
I mean, not, not, you know, it's not an old ship. Maybe they sunk in like the 70s or 80s maybe to make an artificial reef. But uh, it's probably one of the closer shipwrecks, probably the closest and one of the most popular shipwrecks to Rental Beach. Uh, it's maybe in about 40 or 50 feet of water. I've dove it before. It's pretty cool. Um, the visibility is usually crap because it's so close to, you know, land. But uh, I guess there's pretty good fish in there. Um, especially considering, you know, on a flat day you can go out there in a, in a tiny little boat. You don't need anything crazy to get, get offshore and get there. So it's a cool little fun fact. There's another school of fish over there. If you can see right off my, my left foot, that dark patch moving through the water is like a bait ball. It moves pretty fast. It's kind of surprising how quick it moves. Let's see if we can't make it down to, uh, to the south end. Check the jetty out and then turn back around. Well, that's interesting. You see Crystal Pier down there. You can actually see the old pilings off the pier. That's pretty cool. Yes, there's a bunch of old pilings and a big rock kind of thing. Something off to the right of the pier. It's kind of interesting. I surf there a lot. That's one of my favorite surf spots. Quite a few people surfing there now, actually. Man, progress is slow upwind. They scan for airplanes. Very shoulder anybody sneaking up on us there. Let's see if anybody's flying up from the airport. Doesn't look like it. So I'm going to swing us to the right and then swing it to the left and then swing it to the right. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was sick. Oh, you get kind of like this surge of just power. All right. One to the left. And then we'll swing to the right. And then we'll swing to the left. Woo! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so fun. It is 8.03, so we gotta get down soon. We'll do one more of those, so. Swing to the left. Swing to the right. And then bring it to the left. It's all about timing with this. Swing to the right. And to the left. Go ahead and try to kill it early. Okay, so the engine is done. We are on our own. This is the first time I've really glided in from this high up. We got a lot of wind that it seems like I'm descending really quickly. That red bag is our gear. We're probably going to overshoot it a little bit. A little bumpier down here. I'm going to go ahead and slide out of the harness. Oh, yeah, okay. Coming in. It's so quiet. 
and flare. Let's see if we can cut the wing back over to uh, over to our gear. It's not very comfortable. The risers are right up in my face. Okay, that's very good. So let's go ahead and kill it. Hey guys, How's it going, man? I'm pretty good. How are you? Oh, it's awesome. It was a beautiful night. Yeah. Town where the town limit ends, right next yeah. to the Shell Island Resort. So right now we're actually, this is, I guess technically this yeah. is New Haverhill County. Yeah, this is county. Go. Yeah. Operation of aircraft. Got a call, that's why. Yeah. Okay. You know, because people... Who called you? One of the residents, because yeah. we, we, the reason we got a call, because normally we'll get like uh, uh, sail gliders, which is, that's pretty normal, okay. uh, kite surfers, kite surfers gotcha. but she called in, she's like, he's way too high, yeah, like she, an airplane. She called, she's like, he's up with like the airplanes, and I, I just don't oh, know. Oh, she was worried that yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was a kite surfer. Like, yeah. they, like you'd come loose from your... Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. so, gotcha. and you're... So, now, does uh, that thing have like life jacket on it? Or, like, it does, yes. Yeah. So like if you used to go down, does that deploy? Yep, you see these these two things right here kind of yeah. like uh, just like self inflating, almost like one of the self inflating life jackets. Like what we wear the on the boat. Exactly, yeah. yeah it's so good, if like, you was to go trip. down off the coast, yeah, that's exactly. Cool. So when we were flying uh, last night, um, coming over the south end, saw that shipwreck. The plan is, is uh, getting all the gear ready and uh, me and my buddy Brent are gonna take his little Boston whaler out there from Carolina Beach and uh, see if we can't find it. So, what do you think, Winston? We gonna be able to find it? Huh? We gonna be able to find the boat? Yeah. I think Winston has faith in us, so. Gonna pack this gear up and uh, get some air and then head to Carolina Beach and, and go dive this thing. Hopefully we can find it. All right, so uh, we have uh, we have obtained we've obtained some air. Uh, had a little bit of difficulty trying to get some. Uh, went to a dive shop. I won't say any names, but I wanted to go scuba diving now, and that particular dive shop didn't have any air in their tanks. They had ton of tanks, but not a single one there. So had to go to another shop and uh, get some air. Good to go, and we're heading to Carolina Beach. So I'm gonna meet Brent down there at the boat ramp. And we're gonna head out and see if we can't find this wreck that we saw from the air. All right, so stopping at Dickie's Barbecue Pit real quick. Came by on the way to Carolina Beach to visit my mom. Here's my mom. Yeah. Say hi to everyone. Hey. And this is Brett. Yep. Brett. Brett. Hi, everyone. Master. Brett is chopping up some fresh brisket. Look at this stuff. It looks so good. <laughs> I am stoked. Yeah, if you cut this in half right here, look at all that juice. Oh my gosh. Watch this right here. Man, that's, that's insane. That's you just gave me a sample and it was just like unreal. We're gonna do some spicy cheddar sausage, brisket, and chicken. Awesome. So it's delicious, Mom. It is, it is delicious. That's how you dress it. That's awesome. And all the meats are nitrate free too. Oh man, look at that. That is so good. Mmm. All right, we got some paper towels. Got some paper towels. Thanks, Mom. Video. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Say hi to everyone. Hey, everybody from Dickies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brett. So Appreciate it, man. Funny. This is delicious. You got it. And that was a that was a good stop. <laughs> We just picked up Brent. We're heading to the boat. I'm gonna leave his truck here. I'm going into too much detail. They don't care about that. Let's go. Got his Yeti. All right, we're here at the marina. Loading up the last little bit of stuff for the boat. Nope. 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 
Yep. All right. Looking for the boat. We're out here at the jetty, getting rigged up. We took a pass to see if we could find that shipwreck thing, but no luck. I think the water is just too murky for us to see it. The tide's high and there's like a bunch of weird murky water sliding over that break wall. So it's a little stirred up and we couldn't find, uh, couldn't find that boat. So we may have to try again another day when the water's clear and the tide's lower. But we're gonna go dive this jet. Hopefully we'll see Brent shoot some fish. He's got that big old stringer. So optimistically thinking it'll be filled up by the time we get back to this boat. Uh, yeah, have a good night. Probably some of the best visibility I've ever seen, ever. Probably some of the best GoPro footage ever. Yeah, probably some sick footy. Probably got some super sick footy on the GoPro. Can't wait to get home and check it out. No, that was awful. You can see like six inches. There's all this like snotty stuff floating in the rocks. It's probably for me. I'm just getting over a cold. Uh, yeah, it's pretty terrible. So we're gonna go see if we can find a place with better visibility. And uh, if not, we're just gonna drink beer, I guess. Either way, it's a win-win. Oh yeah, we're getting to that barbecue. Heck yeah. Thanks, Brett. And Brent. And Brent. We're getting skunked on the weather here in the visibility. It's terrible out. It's really wind picked up a lot. Man, shoot. You know when there's guys out kiteboarding, the diving's not gonna be very good. No. Diving didn't work out. But there's always plan B. Here you are, sir. Thank you, sir. Back home now. Dive was kind of a failure. Um, too murky to find that shipwreck, unfortunately. And then we tried to dive the jetty. Still too murky for that. So we gave up early. Um, we still had a great time on the boat. So any day on the water is better than you know a day pretty much doing anything else. So the day was not wasted. Still had an awesome time. But now I have all this extra air left over. But I guess I'm just gonna take back to the dive shop. I don't know. I hate to return two full tanks. Thank <laughs> you. 